Jesus, Uncle, did you just fart? John, you're embarrassing yourself. Quite the bookworm we got. Yeah, well, he'll never earn a living. You fools just about managed. You can hardly read. Well, John found himself a good woman. She saved him. John saved me. I saved Charles. So it goes. <laughs> so it all starts with a good woman. Exactly. It all starts with a good woman. John Marston is the luckiest man alive. Arthur told me that a long time ago. <laughs> Finally, old man, he... <laughs> he made me cry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You okay? Yeah, it's, it's just what he said. He was right, you know. And what you doing putting ideas in her head? Well, one of you's got to have something up there. And it surely ain't gonna be you. The idea I got now involves you and a hammer. You made a smart choice over some... Jim Milton, I've had it with you, I've had it with you! Deputy, can we just cut to the chase and hang this sick bastard ourselves right now? Can we? <laughs> Man, can we please? I ain't quite sure that's the legal process. <laughs> okay. In that case, <laughs> forgive me. Oh, oh. You're a degenerate. I'm a failure. I'm getting mighty sick of this. I love you too, darling. Get lost. Just for a bit, be gone. Get lost. Well, we've seen it. No, you don't. You brought me here. We're staying till the end. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? <laughs> In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. Acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think. We're borrowing. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? Will you? Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. You serious? got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I... I never... I didn't know what mattered to me. It didn't. But now it does. 
If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> Coming to bed? Yeah. <sighs> How's your day? Fine. You can keep out of trouble. this on yourself. <laughs> Always. This place is starting to take shape. Yeah. You've come a long way from sleeping in a tent surrounded by thugs and fools. <laughs> Now I sleep in a house surrounded by thugs and actual sheep. <laughs> Guess it's progress. You make me laugh, Abigail. <laughs> you make me laugh too, but maybe in a different way. Cannot believe we're sleeping in a house. A house we own. Just so goddamn strange. Nice strange or nasty strange? <laughs> nice strange. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very nice. <clears throat> All right, John Marson. Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we'd better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money I... Uh... I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own. I'm raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home. Good night, Abigail. Good night, you. My fault. Night, Jack. Night, Mama. What you reading? Uh, Bible. Will you read me that passage that Reverend Swanson used to read? You remember that? Well, n not not really, Mama. <laughs> Nor do I. It was so pretty. It, 
It was in Isaiah, I think. Okay. Uh, here's, here's a beautiful passage. Um, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath, he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. That is beautiful. <laughs> but it's not the same. The Reverend spoke about eagles. Well, I don't know much about eagles. Um, good night, Mama. Good night, son. That's some heavy reading. It's the Bible, John. That don't make it easy to swallow. <laughs> Buy me a bottle of hooch, will you? <laughs> oh, and don't tell your mom. Why should I? Why should you? One day, kid, you'll be very, very old. <laughs> then you'll understand. Well, I ain't got any money. Well, you just ask them to give you some credit. <laughs> well, what's credit? Oh, never mind. But try and steal a bottle if you can. What? Well, come on, don't look at me like that. B. Careful. You sending the boy to buy you hooch? Oh, I, I, I was teaching a boy a valuable lesson in economics. Don't try that again, or I'll teach you a valuable lesson in good sense. Hello there, old man. I thought I already had a child to look after. Well, you weren't doing so well with him, so God gave you a second chance. <laughs> Two children now. Well, I'm sure I'm needed somewhere. There's somewhere where the people can hear me for the right reasons. We always have a home here. You know that. Your family. Thank you. <sighs> anyway, I best get back to it. Where are you going, eh? It's an okay life here. It's a great life, John, but it's yours. I need to make my own. I understand. Just. Don't go making it anytime soon. <sighs> we'll miss him if he goes. Just you and Uncle for adult company? You bet I will. That ain't nice, woman. train brushed on at an awful pace the sulfurous fumes scorched hands and face wider and wider the country grew and faster and faster the engine flew and louder and louder the thunder crashed brighter and brighter the lightning flashed hotter and hotter the air became till their clothes were burnt with each quivering frame then out in the distance there arose such a yell ha ha said the devil we're near in hell and oh how the passengers shrieked with pain and begged the devil to stop, stop the train. train 
and you bullied the weak and you robbed the poor. The starving brother you turned from your door, you laid up gold with a canker rust. And, and if given free, free will, your beastly lust. <laughs> You're just, just a scorn, scorn and corrupts your soul. You, you trample the laws of nature down. down. You're drunk, cheated, thundered, lied, and mocked the God of your hellborn pride. Your flesh will waste in the flames that roar, and my hands will torment you, you forevermore. Then the cowboy awoke with an anguished cry. His clothes wet with sweat, his hair standing high. <laughs> Then he prayed that I never had played till that hour to be saved from his sins and the demon's power. And his prayers and his vows were not in vain, for he never rode that, that hellbound hell train. train. <laughs> 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 you love giving me the worst jobs, don't you? What would give you that idea? <laughs> How about you take the shovel and, and I'll walk around lording over the manor for a bit, hmm? We all do our share. Uh -huh. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like me to read a passage to you, Mama? What is it? It's from one of them books. It's, it, it's about cowboys. Cowboys? Well, not real ones, like, like gunslingers. It's real silly. No, I... I think I had enough of silly idiots who think they're gunslingers. My whole goddamn life I've been surrounded by idiots who thought they were living in a book. Only it ain't that way. No, 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 I, I, I guess it ain't. Just listen to this, all right? Frank Heck. Frank Heck looked at the sheriff cold. Clearly, you don't know who I am, he snarled. And before the sheriff could blink, the fastest young man west of the Grizzlies had filled him full of cold lead. The town was free once more. <laughs> <laughs> Who writes that nonsense? <laughs> Go to bed, son. Yeah, I know. Is it good for him having his head filled with stories? You ain't got one story in your head, and look how you turned out. Yeah. Wait. Huh?